piggishness. Oh, thank you again, your piggishness. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Or not. I know it worked for feathers. I could. Okay, off we go, Chester. Monster meat, of course. Crap, I don't want. Oh, that's gonna be. I know what that's gonna be. I shouldn't be aggravating these. Come on, Chesterian. <laughs> I don't think I found a, uh... Oh, an ice. Wait, why do I have ice in autumn? Oh, the glaciers are growing, I guess. Okay, cool. Well, we can take a peek at them. Uh... I was, uh, trying to think if I had a... Oh, we could get a cocoon. Maybe. Oh, so anyway, uh, nothing in the camp. I never turned this flinger dinger on, and nothing in this camp that we stayed out of ever burned. And the fields didn't burn. Uh, obviously, I am not surprised. I didn't expect it to. So, there are people building their... I was chatting with one, building farms. And uh, the chest for farm storage... Not farm specific. There's the uh, glaciers growing. Uh... What did I want to say? Uh, uh, building the farms and the uh, grass and stick farms and the storage for them away from their base and uh, just running over to them to grab stuff when they needed it, like that chest I made over there, which is obviously still there. Or maybe not, because I don't know if the... I think the burned ones might show. I don't know. Uh, so anyway. However, you know, that's the kind of difficulty thing that's uh, to me is kind of stupid because it's like so... I need to build everything away from my base so it doesn't burn, and that makes the game more fun for me. <laughs> I just gotta, you know, to me, adventure is more, I don't know, it's solving puzzles and things like that, and it's just, it's not running all over Hell's Half Acre to, uh, I'm kind of tempted, did I bring a shovel? It's not running all over Hell's Half Acre to, uh, whatever I want to say. Oh, to collect the ingredients I need, obviously. Uh, eat that, eat that, eat that. Uh, where's my shovel? Yeah, okay, uh. Now, bees will spread those nightmare flowers. If you get homeless bees, once they visit six flowers, they will start uh, spreading flowers. And if the last one they pollinate before they make a flower, it's kind of random. It's not something you can force or count on. But if the last one is a uh, an evil flower, they make an evil flower. If the last one's a good flower, they make a good flower. But can a flower ever truly be good or evil? <laughs> yeah, right. I think the pig king sleeps at night. I don't know if you can wake him up or not. Uh, mushrooms are vegetables, as you probably saw in that thing where I used the uh, mushroom and the pierogi. Yeah, we can explore around here, I guess. Yeah, grass is coming up a lot. Wolfgang was pre-update. It was uh, DLC, but before the update. And this is obviously after the update, and everything's recovering far faster than it did in Wolfgang's world. Oh, I meant to check on the Pig King. Uh, Piggy Wig, now some kings are defended by the, yeah, there is 
his fatness is. Now sometime in the winter the glaciers will peak out so you really don't want to chop them up now. You don't uh, don't really need them. Let's just grab that in case we maybe turn it into veggies, uh, into pierogies or something later. Or use it for vegetables and something later. Alright, where are we? 3%? Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, it's more than 3%. I didn't see it right. Okay, we're going to do a, a pig o rama here. And no, we're not going to rama the pig. Is that, oh, the twist. What is that, Gord's knot? Even my spear cannot undo this knot. It would make an okay weapon in a pinch. Anything would you for the love. A token of victory. Yeah, rip out their teeth. Useless technology. Supposed to eat it. I wanted you to examine it, you silly witch. Perhaps one of the most excellent elemental resource. Oh, you're a do macrame? Yum, meat snacks. Oh, I think I missed those. Oh, that was useless. Oh, those are both useless. Th no, token of victory, use. Okay, I got it. Sorry, I'm confused. Who are you? Who are you, Chester? Get off him. I wanted you to examine him, you silly witch. Don't worry, I won't eat him. Yes, you will. I don't trust you. Okay, teeth. Thank you your piggishness. Oh, thank you again, your piggishness. Oh, thank you some more, piggy. Oh, what a generous piggy. You like bathtub stoppers. If I had my pitchfork, I would steal your floor. No, huh? That was a very definite no. Now this stuff kind of semi-glows at night, so we might come back at night and finish up. Well, in fact, no, I don't know about moles. I don't want to... I don't see any moles. Uh, I don't trust moles. To hell with it. Thinking about that in the Wiley Cola fun. Cough it up, Chester. I am the worst colophant hunter in the game. Koalophant. Part koala, part funt. Where are your little koalophant toes going? Elephant, actually, elephants have exceptionally tender toes, feet. They have to be really, really, really trained to uh, step on people's heads. Which is, if you don't know, it used to be a, an Indian, East Indian type of, oh crap, was that it? Did he go across the sea, evidently? No, there he is. Expecting the worst, that's me. Where is your dung? Okay, for uh, Cookie, what is the word for dragon dung when you're hunting him and you're a knight? Oh, there he is. Well, uh... If I remember, I'll tell you later. If not, you're screwed. Uh, dragon dung, if you're a knight hunting dragons. Well, I like beef, though. Wait for him to do the uh, headbutt. And then you smash his little head in. 
and I don't have the silk and I don't want a breezy vest. Oh, we were gonna go aggravate the king in the night. And I have a pickup here. I probably have all kinds of crap up here. Where the hell are you, Chester? And we need a cat coon. Okay, uh, king, 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 king. If I were king, where would I be? Oh, the South Park uh, footage, it, uh, the sound fried out. It was not a mistake on my part this time. Okay, where's our eggies? Eggs, eggs, eggs. Alright, well, we should wait for full dark, really. There! <laughs> I like the way he goes to sleep! Uh, okay, where's uh, Eggies? Oh, he won't take him at night. Oh no! Wake up, you fat bastard! You're ruining my effects! Ah oh, well, my own fault. Ah oh, well. They don't seem to glow as much as they used to. Maybe it's just... Uh, maybe I was thinking of dusk. Actually, uh, chest there, and you could take that. Take that. You could take the snout. Yeah, it's dripping snot inside you. Just keep your your uh, fungusy drawers on, buddy. Give me the axe. What the hell? I'll trade you. Stupid pig. Boy, if I was in South Park, I could fart on him and kick him. Uh, with the, uh, give me that hammer back too, Chester. I'm going to destroy some of these lonely pig houses. There's one up in the corner over there. All right, Patty, get to work. Spam, spam, spam. Spam, 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 spam. Any golden shower joke you think of has probably already been made. Uh, there have been bugs where the uh, gold got stuck on his fat belly. There were at one time also very wealthy African kings that uh, oiled themselves and put raw no... Uh, hung out pretty much nude, oiled themselves, ate enormous uh, amounts because it was... Uh, it showed wealth. A lot of cultures being very large. <laughs> uh, one might say fat. <laughs> uh, shows wealth. But uh, what did I want to say? Oh, and uh, rolled in the raw gold nuggets. So he had uh, pieces of gold nuggets all over him. Why do I know that? I think that might have been Zulu's. Or some of, some of the really big ones when they actually had armies big enough to go to war with the British. Sorry, pig, I need your house. I don't have enough monster meat to convert you, buddy. The last pig house on the left side of the road. Uh, cat coon, is there something? In, I wonder what he'd do for a snout. Now, there's a certain amount you're supposed to feed the cat coon. So he does, I evidently glitched one out by feeding him too much. Uh, now, I've made some comments about ROG, Reign of the Giants, and... I, I'm just still getting the comments on the smoldering and the random burning and what happens when a ton of your stuff has burned up in the summer. And that makes a lot of sense to me. 
But I think a lot of it will, you know, winter was, a lot of people wouldn't play winter when it first came out. And I'm not, I'm not uh, belittling anyone's difficulties, but uh, things tend to balance out or, or even out as you get used to them and know what to do. Okay, if we do two catcoons, we uh, have something or other. Uh, she, oh hell, I meant to save that damn, I don't know if he'll work for that or not. I know he'll work for feathers. I could probably boomerang him something. But I'd see nothing to boomerang him. You mind if I feed you to him, Chester? Chester, I don't know if he'll work for that. Kinda like pie whack it. Too big, huh? Uh, what an ass I am. Okay, I need, uh... Oh, uh, where's, uh... Stupid crow. Space bar catches boomerangs. Come here, kitty. Quit aggravating stuff. Did I get you? I think I did. Come on, kitty. We got a long way to go and uh, pretty much infinite time to get there, buddy. Oh, it's the Glomer statue. Did I know that? I don't think so. And we just did the full moon. That's a pan pipe. Puts critters to sleep. A curious homage to the gods. Where's my... Shoot, where are you, Chester? Uh, some of this crap's got to go. Are you hacking crap up? You are, huh? Alright, grab that and we'll feed him that. You won't take it. If, you had a fe if I had a feather, you'd take it, you little snot rag. I'd miss. Okay, kitty toy. Good. Uh, grass should have gone in Chester. I do. I'm trying to think if we need. Oh gosh, I'm way off track, aren't I? I'm all cattywampus around. Okay, I can't think of anything we need from the swamp offhand. Uh, hell with Glomer. All right, Glomer's there, so maybe we can get the Glomer also. I uh, wish I remembered where that went. Oh, I don't think I know where that goes. All right, well, let's head in that direction. I think that's a big old hole. All right. Oh, thank you, kitty.
So, we're virtually home. And crazy, oh, did I? I forgot I had that touchstone. We need to repair it for uh, summer and winter. Yeah, I'm crazy as a bed bug. Come on, bed bug, little bed bug. I'm gonna have to look up the cat. Uh, you know what we could do? Uh, Okay, cat food, it lists uh, eels, eggs, fish, uh, frog legs, morsels, I can't tell what, oh, mole worm uh, and rabbit, cat toys, uh, birch nuts, uh, balloons, uh, beefalo fur, butterflies, well, you can look this up, it's a big old list, uh, objects they will eat, bees, butterflies, uh, lightning bugs, flowers, something, oh, mole worms, <laughs> and whole rabbits, uh, the health 150, damage 25, attack period of two. Uh, I don't know where the information is on how much to feed it. I do know I overfed mine. Wait a minute, I guess this is it. Cat coons can be friended by giving them a trinket or food. It will give gifts to the player by coughing up items, which is a huge list. Uh, each item given to the cat coon will add a third of a day, 160 seconds, which is basically, is that, oh, it's not quite, yeah, it's in, it's not quite three minutes, to the time spent following you to a maximum of 2.5, I think that's where they glitch, and it halves the time between hairballs, uh, So, I would think you could give them three gifts a day, up to six, seven, seven gifts. I don't know. I could be reading that wrong. Okay, that was Cat Coon. What else have I got? The uh, Battle Helm uh, uh, blocks 80% of the damage. Uh, battle Spear has 200 uses and does 42 damage. But a hand bat does 59 damage and uh, works 10 days, period. So the hand bat is better than the battle spear. Um, I think that's it. Howdy, hi. The little tiny bit of a uh, story coming up is what I meant to put in the uh, last video. Uh, frequently I play games until I'm too tired to continue playing and then I start editing so it's a wonder that the editing works out as well as it does and there are errors from time to time so anyway this is uh, just a brief glimpse at a memory I had of kindergarten so uh, South Park is dirty nasty it's an adult uh, it's an adult game it has a lot of foul sexual and other references, some even fouler than others. Uh, so please, you know, uh, keep in mind, uh, the South Park uh, game uh, Let's Play I'm doing is for adults. It's just, uh, I'm not even sure some of it's appropriate for adults. <laughs> so, uh, and some of it won't even, I started a new channel that's, uh, uh, blocked for only adults just to put up some of the stuff in it if assuming that I get to it at some point but this should be just a cute little story and it might have a couple of very minor profanities in it and I had this damnedest flashback of 61 years old and uh, when I was in kindergarten I was engaged to be married <laughs> And I was not like the kindergartners in this uh, in this game. Uh, I had a girlfriend. She had long black hair down to her waist in a ponytail. And uh, the the asshole older kids that that uh, were in charge of the playground gave a shit about it and. Uh, insisted that we get married to each other and she thought and I thought it was cool as hell I brought her a, uh, I was in kindergarten I brought her a uh, a ring from a bubblegum machine pissed them the older kids got really pissed because I guess it was supposed to embarrass us and it's like yeah that's uh, 
That heterosexuality, that's a bad thing. <laughs> There's a phase little boys go through where they don't like little girls. I never went through that phase. <laughs> but that ain't getting us a Jimbo's gun. <laughs>